sky. So we are inside of the Springfield model here in the Garrison community in Harrisburg. And right as you walk in the home, you have a open foyer that leads up to, looks like it's probably about four bedrooms up there, but we'll double check. Here on the left, you have what, like, what looks like could be a home office. And I just love the way the stagers have done this room. So you have your um, study there, a desk, very nice hardwood floors. Let's see, it looks like three inch crown molding top and bottom. We also have French doors here in case with glass. Gorgeous, the floors are absolutely gorgeous. Let's walk over to the formal dining. There's actually crown molding along the walls here. Let's see, top and bottom, absolutely gorgeous. Look how big this area is. This could be a second office or this could be a dining room just like they have here. What I love is the butler's pantry. Now, I don't know how many of you guys actually use this as like a butler's pantry. I have one myself and this is kind of like my wine area, but it's so convenient when you're having guests to just have like a separate area. So this is beautiful. Now this actually takes us into the living room space. And again, you see the hardwood floors continue. And there's also, also beautiful coffered ceilings here. So that just adds to the element of this space. Again, what beautiful staging. Just really great quality in Stanley Martin Homes. Now I do wanna point out that there are some arches here. However, their updated plans will be going to no arches. And a lot of my clients have um, not liked the arches in the past. It is kind of an old uh, feature in homes. So they're doing away with the arches. Look at that stone fireplace. We just have to get up close and personal with this. Very nice. And it complements the room. It looks great with the hardwood floors. Now these are all upgrades that you can get in your home. Of course, the model's gonna be pretty decked out, but they've done an amazing job. And you guys know I'm gonna go straight to the kitchen and they've done an amazing job with it. The pendant lighting, countertops. Now this uh, island is actually really big and I love a big island. So we have three seats here. Let's see. Nice wide sinks, and there's also some storage down below. Let's see. Beautiful appliances, more counter space. That's amazing. Let's flip to landscape. I think that's better. We get more counter space. And look how high the cabinets go up. I'll have to check, but I think those are 42 inch cabinets. Your double ovens here. And again, more counter space. I love counter space, a ton of it. I have a pretty large family, but that's great that this plan actually offers that. Here we have the pantry off of the kitchen. Wow, now that's pretty big. If I can hear myself echoing in the pantry, then it's pretty big. That's good size. There's a dining room area off of the kitchen, nice and bright. Tons of sunlight coming through. I love this fixture. Beautiful, nice and bright. Oh wow, we always talk about the indoor outdoor living and here we go. Now this is what the people want. This is why you come to the Carolinas for my folks up north that come down south because we have space, we have quiet, we have peacefulness. You understand? Look at this, absolutely gorgeous. 
enclosed screened in private patio area. Doesn't get any better than this guys. Come on, let's be real. You can see the other homes, big homes, big lots. Let's go back in, it's kind of warm. Gorgeous, nice and open and airy. I don't feel like this space is tight at all. Let's see. The living room, as we walk to the rear of the living room, there is a full bath. Beautiful. So, sink, toilet, nice big shower. And then we headed to the first room on the first floor. Beautiful. This looks like a queen bed or looking at it, a king will fit comfortably as well. Nice and big. Now look at that window. This is what you want. You want tons of sunlight. The room is nice and big, a huge window. Oh, look at that. Cute little bench. Let's see, closet space. Let's talk about it. Let's see it. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can get a light on here, you guys. There we go. And this isn't even the master. Maybe an in-law suite, maybe a older son or daughter, somebody that needs more privacy. This would be great for them. And again, it does have that bathroom on the first floor. Let's head on upstairs, you guys. But just from this angle, we have our living room, our kitchen, dinette. And from the dinette, you guys know there's that outdoor patio space. So let's head to the back of the home. We first started at the front door because now we're going to go upstairs. Going up. There's a couple families in here, you guys, so bear with me. If I start to speak a little loud, it's just so you can hear me. Hardwoods on the stairs. The hardwood hardwoods continue upstairs. Oh, wow. So we have another full bath upstairs and I love that window at the top there that just gives it more sunlight opens up the space a little more and look at this you guys how cute this is another bedroom not even the master <laughs> beautifully decorated kind of gives you an idea of where you can have furniture. Comfortably, you can sit a king bed in this room, but this looks to be about a queen. Gorgeous. Love the height of the ceilings. Gives it that kind of cathedral style. Closet space. Let's see it. Don't disappoint us. Very nice. Not a walk-in closet though, but it's okay. Cause I think this house has like four walk-in closets. <laughs> one of the kids are gonna have to go without and it's okay because one day they'll grow up to have their own house. <laughs> you don't buy houses for the children. Not all the time. We need things for us too, but while we're buying for them, we might as well buy something cute. Another very nice room, a very beautiful space. Easily fits two twin beds. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love what the stages have done. Look at that, super cute. Dresser and mirror. 
little reading area. I love it. More windows, giving, giving you more sunlight. Let's check out the closet space. And this is great. Great for kids. It goes all the way up there. Yep. Perfect for storage. Perfect. I'll tell you what, my little one would have fun in this closet. She'd get all types of lost. Let's move on. So how many bedrooms have we seen so far? Three. Go back out to the hall. So we're in the kind of landing area. If you look back down, that's the first floor. We're on the second floor. I love what they did in this little nook here. Very nice. But you guys, take a look at this. It's going to pan the camera around. Bam. There's an open bonus area. It has a step up here. So we're just going to step up to this area. It's open. Obviously, you could get it closed. Maybe some uh, double French doors. But a really great space. You guys are working from home these days. So you need your separate area. Isn't that cute? Star Wars. So again, they have um, a ton of windows, which is great because this space is a little bit enclosed. Ceilings are high. Nice ceiling fan. And this is what I was talking about with the space being open to the hallway. So you can have that enclosed or you can uh, keep it open. Or you could actually have them to, to build this home with this being an actual bedroom. So that could just be blocked off. This whole area could be blocked off and made to be a bedroom instead. Going straight across. My God, how many bedrooms does this house have? That is crazy. Another bathroom here. Oh my God, where's the lights? Hold on, you guys. Hold on. Okay. They paid the bills. The lights work. They paid the bills here. <laughs> Just kidding. Beautiful. Three-piece bath. I love the granite that they use here. Very nice. Complete with toilets and shower. Now, the cool thing about this room is, check this out, you guys. I'm just going to close this door. So, this is a bedroom with an ensuite. So, when I come into this space, I have a bathroom to the left. And straight ahead, if I walk in, I have another bedroom with beautiful ceilings. That's a tray. So, even I'm confused. How many bedrooms are we on now? One, two, three, and okay, this is the fourth, I, I think. <laughs> Gorgeous. Look at that. And like I said, they all have um, nice wide windows. Which is what you want in a home this size. You don't want to feel closed in. This closet is actually a little bit deeper than the other two, but it still goes all the way up, as you can see. Tons of shoes, shoe boxes, clothes, storage. Great for this space. Okay. I hope I've been going slow enough for you guys when I'm showing the home. Just want you to look at that ceiling again. Very nice. You know what? This is just like wallpaper. Oh, no, this is some type of boarding or something. I thought it was wallpaper, but how unique. Love it. Let's head out of this bedroom. I think we're going to finally make our way to the master. Hold on, you guys. I have to put my mask back on. Okay. Now we get to the master. Wow worth the wait 
this master you guys is absolutely gorgeous look at that sitting area now this is what the people are waiting on we need we need to turn all the lights on because we need the full effect gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I see a closet there. I want to take a peek at it. Yes. Now this is a walk-in closet. Tons of space, tons of storage. Beautiful. You guys, let's talk about this sitting area, okay? Because it's one thing to have like a little bump out for a little bitch, but this bedroom has a full on sitting area <laughs> with another walk in closet. Now that's space. That's some space for you. That's some storage for you, okay? The crown molding continues. Check that out absolutely gorgeous hey what a fun painting it's beautiful they've done a great job in this model tea coffee wine whatever you like <laughs> gorgeous you can fit a king or california king bed there easily now we walk into the master. Hello. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Upgraded granite, deep sinks, tons of storage at the bottom, and gray. Lots of counter space. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful flooring. We have a nice little makeup area over here. I love that. I love this area. It's kind of private from the bathroom. Let me give you guys a good view of it. So cute. Full shower. Not just a full shower, but it's a pretty big shower. Huge bench. Very nice. Great details here, you guys. I love this. At the bottom of this bathtub, there's more storage. Bathtub is nice and deep. Love the fixtures, love the beautiful window above the bath. Now, once you get on your private lot, on your own lot, uh, you may want to get some blinds, <laughs> but this is great. Love the fixtures they chose in this home. Wait a minute. There's a, there's a secret door here. What is this, you guys? If this is another closet, I'm going to be so done. Okay, it's a toilet. <laughs> I'm like, what? Another closet? Can I move in today? Gorgeous. That shower is huge. So again, we're in the Grantham community here in Harrisburg, North Carolina. My name is Dominique. I am looking forward to working with you guys. So if you're interested in this plan or interested in building in the Grantham community, I have left my information in the drop down box. Feel free to contact me. Let's see. I just love this space. There's so many things you can do with it. All right, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell, and we will talk again soon. Bye.